All right, this is going to be a very quick video uh, on how to use the chamfer tool. Uh, right now on the screen, I have a, a sketch. I'm going to have a simple rectangle, 2.25 uh, inches by 1.5 inches. And I've actually already extruded that. And so what I want to do is use the chamfer tool to kind of shave off one of these corners. So as always, if you hover over the tool, it'll give you a help menu. And press F1 for even more help. I'm going to click on that that's in, in this modify panel in this chamfer tool. Uh, on the screen, once again, uh, as our other menus, anything you have to choose, anything you have to select is uh, a red arrow. So this says that there's some edge I have to select on, and um, I haven't done that yet. So I'm just going to select an edge here, and it shaves off that corner. Now, right now, it is shaving. Um, if we were to come over this, you'd see that this diagonal line has a height of 0.125 and a width of 0.125. Uh, kind of think of that as slope. Uh, you know, our rise and our run, both our rise and our run for this diagonal line is 0.125. And so I can change that number. Uh, we have a, a one and a half inch uh, object, so I could make it one and a half, and it would look like that. Uh, we can't go corner to corner, though, because it's a different length in both directions, at least not with this particular solution. Now, there are other solutions other options here. So if I select this here, this middle one, uh, this is distance and an angle. So I'd give the distance and I'd give an angle. In this case, uh, the default is 45 degree angles, 45 degrees. So in this case, I have to click on a face and I click on an edge. And so it's gonna make this uh, a 45 degree angle with the face that I selected. Obviously, I could come in and change that angle to get uh, other solutions to this. That was apparently too big of an angle. Okay, uh, I don't use this this option much, so I'm going to go to the last one here, which is two distances. And so you have distance one, distance two. Once again, it wants to select an edge. We'll select that. And we can do two different distances here, say 1.5 and 1.25. Um, see, I will do 1.5 and one inch, and we'll give us a slope something like that. If I don't like it that way, I can hit this option right here, and I can flip which one is used for the rise and which one is used for the run. So again, this is we can think of this as like slope from math class or geometry. And in this case, we have a run on this slope of 1.5 and a rise of one inch. If I don't like that, I can flip it. Now I have a rise of 1.5 inch and a run of one. So that's the chamfer tool. And that is it for today.